welcome back to my channel so this is vlog number two mom vlog today cohen is two months old i can't believe it and he's over there sleeping and this afternoon we have his two month needles so i'm nervous and it's kind of strange that i'm nervous because um i didn't think i would be he has been through so much in his little life already so if you watched um the birth story video he had jaundice so he had blood work done a lot so he had his foot pricked a bunch of times so i've seen him scream through that like multiple times and then when he was two weeks old we took him to emergency because he was vomiting for a week straight like really bad and they gave him an iv so i have seen him basically being held down to have an IV in, which was also very hard, but I was so impressed with myself. Like I was like really good and I hate needles, which I said in the birth video, I did really well and I was able to like see it, like not see it, but like I actually watched them do it and I didn't think I would, but I did. So I was expecting myself to be okay for needles, but I think it's like the aftermath that I'm worried about. Um, to see like how he reacts and how he is for the night and stuff like that So that's what I'm scared of because lately he's been a little fussy and I guess I don't want to say fussy like he's been like screaming crying um, the last few nights uh, And we aren't really sure why he could just like I think it's a lot to do with like gas and belly pains And I have been doing some like um, like infant massage on his belly and stuff which seems to help It's just like the last couple days is just the worst timing to also have to do this in the middle of it So I think that's why I'm getting nervous So we drove Robbie to work this morning because we only have one vehicle now So I'm going to pick him up from work so he can come to the appointment and this whole pandemic thing is still going on so he's still working but uh, we still have to go get our needles so basically what our doctor's office is doing is um, we go and we just park outside and then they call us when we can come in so that there's not people in there waiting and our doctor is always like super behind and so there's usually like a lot of people in there waiting and the, you're waiting in there for hours. So um, they've limited that, which is kind of nice because my first, my two week appointment with him, I had to wait a long time in the waiting room with him. And of course he started to cry and it was just like frustrating to have to sit there and wait so long with a newborn. So at least I can sit in the car and wait. Um, and I took him last week because he's been really, really stuffed up. So he did go to the doctors last week and I had to just keep driving around the block because I couldn't stay put in the car because he cries if the car's not moving. <laughs> so I'll probably have to do that again today. Uh, yeah, and he's still congested. So he's been congested for like a few weeks now. And when we took him last week, the doctor said he was fine and it was nothing to worry about, but like he's kind of doing it now. So like if you've had experience with this, let me know like what your story was. Like was... Like, I'm worried about allergies because we have two dogs and two cats, and I do try to keep the place as clean as possible, but obviously it's hard to keep everything clean, especially with everything going on. Like, I can't take COVID to go get a bath. The, like, we can't go anywhere, so we're just stuck in the house all the time, so that's what I'm kind of worried about. But, like, listen to him. So I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> but I just... I'm, it just makes me sad that he sounds like that. But but honestly, like when I took him to the doctors um, last week, he wasn't doing that. But I did have a video that I had played for the doctor. But I also feel like the doctor is so rushed sometimes that they don't really like listen to everything that you say. So I'm kind of hoping he sounds like that when we go, which is kind of sad. But I just want the doctor to be able to hear it, not just in a video. Anyways, I have been suctioning. Like I got the thing that you like suck on it to suck their boogies out which is like working really well now, but I have to do it a lot and he does not like it. So he screams every time that I do that. I have like, I can see the dog here like stuck to the end of my nose and I can't, I can't get it. <laughs> so anyways, that's what we're doing today. So I will try to keep you updated and take you along um, in the car and pick up, not pick up Robbie in that. So wish us luck for our needles and um, I'm gonna try and have some lunch now before we go. His appointment's at 1.30. It is 11.15 right now. I'm gonna, hopefully he sleeps until noon and then I can feed him real quick 
um, and then we'll go get Robbie from work and then go to the doctor's appointment. So I'm gonna go try and have an early lunch right now so that I have time to do everything. Oh, also an update. My last vlog video, I was talking about my weight loss for um, like baby weight. So I had said that I had joined Weight Watchers so I wasn't really a fan. Like I did Weight Watchers years and years ago and back then I didn't need to lose a lot of weight. I was like aiming to lose 10 pounds and I lost the 10 pounds on Weight Watchers and that was fine. Like when Weight Watchers Online first came out and that was fine. So I thought I could do it again, it would be fine. But I'm just not really a fan of it anymore and the new way that they have the app set up is so complicated. I'm just like there's just too much and you can't really navigate very easily and like do the things that I want to do so I just was I stopped using it um, and I actually joined Noom so I've seen the commercials on TV for this forever so one night I just finally was like I'm just gonna go to the website and see what it's about and I'm really liking it like there's like a two-week trial so I'm on week two of that right now and I really really like it it's so different it's not like everything else and it is calorie counting but it's like kind of calorie counting in a different way so I do really like it I'm doing well so far I don't remember where I was at last time when I vlogged but since being on Noom like in the last two weeks I've lost almost four pounds so I think it's good and I'm still doing my workouts with Sarah's day so I'm in week four right now and I'm liking that as well so that's my little weight loss journey update all right so I'm gonna go make myself some lunch Also, I'm so excited, but I got myself a present. <laughs> so, um, if you've watched my cleaning videos, which I'm sure you have, because that's basically what's on this channel, I have a Dyson, uh, and I've had it for 10 years, and just last week, it started to not really suck as well, and I checked everything through and everything, but I've had dogs for 10 years, and I've used that vacuum a lot, so I figured it's just been its time. So. I got myself a new Dyson. I cannot wait to um, show it to you guys in videos, but it's just, it's not like the super, super fancy ones. Um, Cause there's, there's new Dysons now that they don't even need a filter, which is super cool, but out of my price range. But this is the Dyson that I got. So it's a multi-floor one. So my old one is in there. The animal ones are purple, um, but it's a multi-floor one. And my favorite part is it comes with the adapter. So you can use the old tools with the new one. So I can still use my animal tools. So, so excited. Cannot wait um, to record a video using it. I have used it obviously, and it's wonderful. I love it so much. Um, I can really tell a difference between that one and the old one. So stay tuned for um, cleaning videos with that. All right, we're all ready to go. I'm gonna go pick up dad. And then we're getting our needles. We got Mr. Fox here to keep us company, make us feel better. Yeah. Mommy's getting nervous. Yeah, but you're doing a good job. He's wearing a shirt that's for three months. So he's two months today, wearing a three month shirt. And I could barely get it over his head. <laughs> you're a big boy. We'll see officially how much you weigh. I tried to weigh you at home. So I try to weigh him at home and I'm guesstimating he's like 12 pounds 9 ounces. So we'll see you at the doctor's. Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh, is that Cohen in the mirror? Say hi. Here, meet your fox. You can hold on to him. Yep. Hold on to him. 
Yeah, he's right here. Yep. There you go. All right. Ready to go, sweetie? Okay, let's go. All right. We just left. Well, we haven't left yet. We're leaving the doctors now. Colin got his needles. What do you think, Dad? Did he do good? He did good. He was pretty good. He did cry when he got them, but he's fine now. We picked him up and he just stopped crying right away. So I think he did pretty good. And he's a big boy. He's growing. His if he was old, old enough to eat ice cream, we'd be getting him an ice cream. <laughs> his growth is really good. He said everything is really good. I don't know if you can see him in the mirror. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. <laughs> boy. Take daddy back to work and then then we're going to go home. Oh, better start driving. Okay, we're home. We're home, baby. You are such a good boy. We cried in the car a bit, but I think it's because we were stopped at the Tim Hortons drive through for too long. Oh, you got a hold of your thing here. Yeah, you did such a good job. Now we're just going to snuggle for the afternoon. Yeah, I just want to snuggle. Oh. And we did ask the doctor about his congestion, and they don't seem to be concerned. So, yeah, just keep doing what we're doing, they said, which is just sucking the snots out of his nose. Yeah. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah. All right, baby, let's go snuggle. Let's go snuggle. Hey, guys. Okay, so it's now the evening, and Robbie has Cohen downstairs. I'm just rocking him. He's awake and watching TV <laughs> um, and I just did my workout upstairs in our bedroom. So as I was working out, I was like tossing and turning with the idea of having tonight be the first night that Cohen sleeps in his room. So we do have a bassinet in our bedroom that he sleeps in every night and um, normally he gets up once a night, usually around 2.30 to eat and then sleeps till like six or seven. And then last night was his longest stretch. He slept till 4.30 before wanting to eat. And then we got him up at 6.30 because I had to drive Robbie to work this morning. Uh, when we were at the doctor's, I had asked about this whole congestion thing and um, asked about allergies and stuff because we thought maybe, you know, with our dogs and our cats and being stuck in the house and everything that maybe that was a contributing factor. So the doctor doesn't really think that it's like a big issue and he said even if it is allergies um there's not really much we can do right now anyways um but he did ask if we had cats and of course we have two cats and he said that the most common thing that could be affecting him would be cat like their dandruff and dust so we did say like he asked um where he slept and if there's any animals in that area so of course his nursery, which I'm in now, no animals are allowed in. The doors close at all times. Um, sometimes the cats try to sneak in and we kick them out right away. But our bedroom door is always open. Like the dogs don't go upstairs. There's a gate there, but the cats basically spend most of their time upstairs away from the dogs because Kovu is a lunatic and chases them all the time. So they spend a lot of time in either the spare bedroom or our bedroom because those are the only options for them to kind of relax. So they are in our bedroom a lot. Now they don't go in the bassinet, but they're still in that room. And we also have a ceiling fan that circulates the air. So obviously that's still going around and I find him the most congested at night. So as I was working out, I was like battling with the idea of having tonight be the first night that he sleeps in his crib. I'm still not sure, but I'm going to clean it out because as you can see, I can't see the viewfinder, but um, I will show you what it looks like inside. It's a disaster. So I'm going to clean that out and once it's all clean, I will decide and if I can clean it in time before he starts to get fussy because he's been fussy on and off. If I can get it done before that then I might try him in it tonight. I don't know if tonight will be a good night after getting needles, like if it'll be harder. But even in his bassinet every morning, he has pushed himself up to the top so his head is like pressed up against the, the back of the bassinet. So I almost feel like he's starting to outgrow it already because he is a big baby. He is 23 and a half inches long now. I feel like he's gonna, he's outgrowing that sooner than I was expecting him to. So he'll have a lot more room in here and stuff. So, but I'm just battling with the idea because I'm just so worried that with his breathing, because I sleep right next to him, right? So I stare at the baby monitor, even I have the baby monitor right beside me and he, he is right beside me, but the baby monitor, obviously I can see in the dark and I can see his face. So I can see his face 
and I can hear him not just I don't, don't I don't hear him through the baby monitor or hear him right there with me so I'm just so worried that with just a baby monitor I'm not going to be able to hear everything like every breath because I literally sit there and listen to make sure that he's breathing and I'm sure I'm not the only person that does that um first time mom but um yeah so I get that's like the big thing that's like making me nervous to do it. But I know it'll probably be a lot easier because every time he gets up in the night, I pick him up at the bassinet, I have to get out of our bedroom, and our bedroom door sticks so it's really loud. And then I come into his room, we do everything in here, and then I take him back over there, and then I quietly get into our bed, and our bed is really noisy. So I know that it's probably going to be a lot better in a lot of ways. But anyways, that's just me explaining myself. So let's just clean this up so I'll show you what I'm working with his room is just a disaster right now like I feel like I clean this all the time um, the last couple days had just been kind of crazy and busy and he's been really fussy so like his change tables a mess like his diaper genie is overflowing we do do cloth diapers as well but I haven't done them the last two days I had washed them and then it took me forever to put them away so um, I've just been using his disposables so I have to clean this area up um, we're kind of battling some cradle caps, so I've been like washing his head frequently. Of course, I'm sucking his nose out all the time, so like this is just a disaster. And then his crib's actually not too bad, but normally this is in there because I just take it off the floor. Sometimes I put him in there in the mornings when I try to tidy his room up. Um, and then I shoved some of this stuff over because I did his two-month pictures today. But like there's always stuff shoved in here, so I've got to put all this stuff away. I have to put on these... Um, crib mattress protector to put one of those on and change this sheet because this has been on here for a while while things have been thrown in so I have to do that put all this away and try to clean up the floor so that when you come in here you're not stepping on all of this stuff so let's do that Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. Um, I did clean out the crib, but we did not use it. <laughs> I went to bring in the baby monitor and we have to like mount it to this back wall. And we also need an extension cord because the plug is like halfway down the other wall. So yeah, we haven't done that yet. We figured, all right, tonight's not the night. We have to figure out the baby monitor situation first. So now it's the morning. Yes, and we are so excited. We've already had our breakfast. Well, Cohen has, Mommy hasn't. Mommy just got dressed and we're gonna check our diaper because someone's been trying to have a poop all morning. He's been trying so hard. <laughs> so we're gonna check it out, see how it is. Yes, but he's such a happy boy in the mornings. You're so happy in the morning. Yeah. <gasps> Say hi, vlog. Say hi to the vlog. What do you think? <gasps> Say hello. Say hello. So I think, well, I'll see how much footage is in this, but this might be it for this vlog. Oh, and last night, he was pretty good, like after his um, needles. He wasn't any more fussy than he usually is at night, so like before bed, that is. Overnight, he was good. He woke up just his one time to eat. So that's it for this vlog. I hope you liked it and give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel um, if if you want. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to do, but if you like my videos, subscribe and I also do cleaning videos and our mommy vlogs with the baby. So like this, like this video, it really supports my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye!